Hey guys, welcome back to another session of Automation Anywhere A360 platform. And in this session, we'll be looking at CSV slash text package. So this package has three actions. One for opening CSV or text file, another one for closing it, and the main which is to read the files. So let's, uh, th these are pretty self-explanatory actions and let's get started with a practical example so first of all let me open up uh, one of the file then i'll use close sorry uh, then i'll use read and then uh, i'll use the close action okay so basically uh, in once you see in the right right pane uh, there is a session name and file path and various other uh, options so session name is the session uh, like when, when you are opening a file whether it's a csv or a text file uh, it will be opened uh, in a session so whatever session name you want to give uh, you can give over here uh, will keep default for now and uh, the file which you want to uh, open so for this per demo purpose i have created one student info.txt file sorry student info.csv uh, file and let me show you what data it has uh, it has a student information uh, student id name gender and the class okay so it's a tab separated csv file it can be a comma separated csv as well so we'll talk about that uh, delimiter it can be comma comma separated tab separator or any regional list separator new line or any other specific del uh, delimiter you can specify so currently our csv file which we will be reading uh, resides at this location c temp in, uh, in the name of the file and it's a tab separated okay and uh, uh, remember i have shown you the file uh, again let let me show you so this file has an headers okay and then the line items then the data uh, starts like there is a header and then there are uh, various other rows okay so i'll take this contain headers so the first line will be skipped and it will start reading from the um, second uh, like from the row items it will skip the headers so we need to mark this or we need to check this option and then trim leading spaces and trim trailing spaces you can also um, check these just to make sure there is there are no spaces okay and yep we are done with opening up the csv file and then we'll uh, and the open and close is done in close just you have to give the session name which you have used in the open command now the uh, main part is like reading uh, reading the csv file so now this file will be re uh, read using this read action and it uh, it will be assigned to a variable so csv or text file is assigned to a table type of variable and here uh, table from csv is the name of the variable and let's create this variable so this uh, table from csv will contain uh, the data that is being read from the csv file and in order to uh, uh, display that data we will need a loop because uh, there are multiple rows one by one we need to fetch them so let me drag the loop command over here and in the loop we will go for data table because it was a data uh, table type of variable and here we will include that table variable and that table variable uh, uh, you can imagine this table uh, variable as a spreadsheet of excel it has a rows and columns so basically while um, reading or while traversing while looping through the cs uh, through the table variable we'll need to hold a, a data in a in a like current uh, row in one of the variables so we'll go with record type variable let us create one record type variable we'll call it table row so the table row variable is being created and we have got a for each uh, row in table loop 
now let me uh, pull message box and in the message box we'll try to display the name and let's say class of the um, student so in order to get the name um, uh, let us again pull up that student info.csv open with the notepad so uh, if you can see here on on the screen basically uh, id name and gender and class there are four fields so i uh, always uh, first uh, uh, column starts with zero zero one two and three basically so if you want to if you want to print name we want to we will we can access it using uh, index as one and class as index three so i'll go with record type of variable table row and we'll go with one so uh, table row of one will give me the name and table row of three will give us the class okay so this is it uh, basically um, that's all about uh, the data which we are want to print so we want to print the name and class of the student and so we have opened the csv file we have read it and assigned it to a table type of variable and then we have closed the session so and now our data is into the table type of variable and that we can loop through and we can read the current row and display the data as simple as that so now let's try running this bot and first of all let me close this file okay so it will open up the csv uh, file in the background and it will read it and assign it to the data table and then one by one it will loop the data table and display us the student name and the class so here you see name is avinash and class is four once you close this it will display for the second next record similarly it will display all the records and then the execution will successfully stop okay that's it guys uh, if you have any doubts in this command you can comment below this video and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and that's all for this video thank you